Well, welcome. Uh, Tyson here. I'm getting ready to uh, finish up, uh, start number five in this series. That'll be the final part. And I just, uh, in my last video, I had this uh, structure right here in it. And uh, I'm heading on up the road. And the, the, all these three of these structures that I have here, actually four I'm going to show you today, are all within about two miles of each other. So I'm going to show you the other one now. Okay, I just showed you that structure that was in my last video. And this is the one that's going to be in the video coming. Um, this is a pit that's been opened up. Um, back in the 50s for some roads or where it was built but I wanted to see the bi biology in it and then I'm a, now I'm getting ready to take it to another spot that's going to be in the video and I'm going to take you and show you it real quick and then there's some stuff in between in one of my videos that I'm going to show you that's in between it's all within a mile of each other okay this is going to be in the video this is going to be the last structure you're going to see so the one I just showed you and this one I want to show you in one of my videos that I have from way back what's in between them and this is less than a mile apart for all three of these. Okay, so in between the structure I just showed you and that pit that's opened up is this stuff. It's in one of my videos called Exploring Mud Fossils Part 1. And if you take a look at this stuff, this is incredible. And this is in between the, the, the two. It's so big. I don't like being underneath it that much, but... See that stuff? We gotta bring the truth. That's what it looks like without it being tore open. The river runs through it and you got the bend and this is with it tore open and what's inside. So we're gonna take a look at some of this stuff, especially right up in there. How it comes up and turns. And this is that's just fascinating to me anyway okay I can zoom in with this one Okay, and then from here we're going to go up around the corner and I'm going to show you one more cross section of something that's actually one of my videos, but it's incredible, incredible biology and the characteristics of it. Now remember, this is just stuff that's underneath the skin, basically. <laughs> and I'm living in between the cracks of the skin. <laughs> we all are here where I'm at. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy. I thought so too. this many times always thought it was so funky inside I had no idea what was really going on until a year ago you can see how that just comes up and twists like that just look at the just look at the how that structure just the design and that alone and that goes that way that piece and that's something So this is actually what's inside of one, what it looks like when you get tore apart. Dissection of a mud fossil. Okay, let's go look at some more dissection. All right. Yep, fascinating biology here. That's a river here behind me. Yes, I'm very blessed. I got fishing, elk hunting, deer hunting, bear hunting, cougar hunting. And I do lots of it. Well, not as much as I used to when I was younger. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Do lots of fly fishing though. So you avid fly fishermen out there. This is called the horn. When the water's going, it's a class five. Kayakers come down here and do this during flood waters. We get lots of flood waters in the winter. All right, gorgeous day.
Time to head on in and take a look. This is more less than a mile away as a bird flies from that pit I just showed you. This is actually one of my videos. You just take a look at how that is like that, and then you got those on top of there. That that row runs all the way across there like that. Just look at the structure here. I used to think these were membranes that slide back and forth together. I don't believe that is what it is. It's just a matrix that builds up the the bump or whatever you call it, the skin. Yes, the mountains are actually the skin itself, like that dragon in China, that big dragon's head. Well, if you were to look underneath all the bumps on the skin itself, this is what forms the bumps. Everything I'm showing you, I'm, I'm not trying how to even say this. Like on a reptilian, the rough hide, the, the collagen that forms the bumps underneath, the matrix. That's what all this stuff I've been showing you inland is. That's, yes, it is. Um, I've been working on this for a long time. Look at that right now. One, two, three. See that? See that? How that, uh, the characteristics of that is right in there? Where all oh, my fingers move. See that? And I'm going to show you from the side. Just take a really good look at this. And that's just not by accident. That's all by design. Okay? This this piece wraps out that way this piece wraps out that way and goes up the creek this one wraps that way and then look at how that all that over there on the corner and then these are like big old they run along the high I mean I, I see them down uh, closer to the ocean and now I'm understanding it more this has just been cut off so we have a cross cross view now it would have probably came and in, in fact it did it came right down and tapered right down into here in fact, these are chunks off it that they've moved out of the way when they built the road. So I'm going to go over here and show you this in the corner. It's really cool if I don't get ran over. And then you can see the, the design behind this, man. Are you kidding me? Look how they're in there in rows. I'm not just throwing in there out just like blah. No way, man. I'll get from the side and show you this too. It's killer. Look how that look at that in there. Look how that one right there. Where my finger at? Right there. And that one and that one. And how they're just tapered just right. See that? The one with the moss on it right there. They slide right. They slide right underneath the next one. And all that would come out and went right on down too. So we just came from under on that pit just on the other side of that hump right over there. Where that, right there where that comes down that mountain, we're right way we're right over there. So you take a really good close look, you'll see that's all by design. And then it just goes right into the rest of it. And on up this creek, is in one of my videos, there's some stuff that's just totally different than this too, about two miles up. We're we'll gonna take a look from this corner at some stuff. Now in between each one of these, you can see there's reds and blacks in there. Now, those would have been in there, like up in there, those to service this with nutrients and everything. It's gonna need, still need nutrients and everything. And that's what these would have been for. Pop up, there's another one up where the bigger one, there's a smaller one right there, runs all the way across. And a lot of this is going to be degraded, uh, degraded. Yeah. Spit that one out, would you? Spell that, would you? <laughs> How do you spell that? Well, when I first looked at this, these those ones right up in there are the ones that gave it away, and I was like, because it was just too much design. Right in there. 
especially those right that one that one that one and there was one below it but it squished out all right I'm gonna wrap it up and head out of here and this is gonna wrap it up for the inline or inland stuff to show you what the transition is from the coast and beautiful mountains but uh, I'm going to be bringing you some stuff that's phenomenal that I was down south about know, 70 miles the other day and I'll be putting lots of videos together of it um, so I can figure out what <laughs> it's over the top I'm still at jacked up over it so all right I'm out of here have a great day God bless and bye bye now